son of a Due to the bad connector, we had to order a new screen and we had to reassemble everything. So we decided to use Tuner Studio for our software. They also have something called TS Dash that can be loaded to display dashboards. The easiest way to get it is click on their link to download the compressed SD image file. This can be used to load directly onto the Raspberry Pi. Now if you have a vehicle with OBD2, you can use something called Open Auto Pro. They have software that can also be loaded onto a Raspberry Pi. Now it does cost $29 but it has a couple of nifty features where you can see the dashboards from OBD2 and they have other features like Android Auto that can also run on the Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna be using a standalone ECU. So we're gonna be using the TS-Dash image we downloaded earlier and we're gonna use Bellina Etcher on our MacBook to install that image onto an SD card. TS Dash loads up automatically when you boot up the Raspberry Pi, and it also has a feature in which you can connect to the Raspberry Pi in order to pull up TS Dash on your phone. So we're actually just using this really quickly to properly shut down the system so we can get the Dash installed into the E30. So here's the default dashboards that are available once everything is loaded up. They're okay. I do like the digital retro dashboard, but there's a lot to be desired here in stylization. So we're gonna plug in our USB keyboard and mouse to do some additional stylization. You can go into designer mode and click on any of the gauges that are already available. We're going to go into the properties dialog and the first thing we're going to do is change the font family. So we're going to find something that gives us a little bit more retro vibes. So we're choosing LCD bold and then you can click on the other gauges and change all of the fonts for those as well. And here's what it looks like. So the next thing we're going to change are some of the colors because this just doesn't look that great. So if you again click on the gauges and you can go into dashboard designer and then click on color dialog. You have a couple of different options here. We're actually going to first change the font color and we're going to go for something a little bit orange, a little bit darker orange. So you see the selections still show recent color. You can go through and apply that to all of the other gauges and we'll do that as well. So as we're changing the colors, the contrast doesn't look too good for some of the colors and the gauges for critical color. So we're actually going to darken that critical color just to provide a little bit more contrast between our font color. Once you're done, you can exit the edit mode and then you can also enable the gauge demo. So you can see exactly what the gauge is gonna look like as it's collecting the information. So now we're gonna save this dashboard and then you can load the project up as your default project. And here are the final results. The fitment is great, but I definitely like to make a bezel to clean up those rough edges. And we'll leave a link in the description below for all the parts we used.